Hello, on this video, I'm going to show you how to insert data into a SQL database from a MVC.NET Core 3 application. Here's where we left off from our last video. To make it easy to understand the steps to insert data to a database, I have created what's called the four steps. So the step number one is to connect to the database. We did that on the last video. Then step number two is to create a command. Step number three is to query the database. And finally, step number four is to close the connection. So no matter what you do on the database, the step number one never changes and the step number four also never changes. Close the connection. So again, step number one never changes and step number four never changes either. So all we have to worry about is step number two and step number three. So let's work on step number two then. So let's create a command. So first is the query. And the query for this, I'm going to use the SSMS to create it. So I'm going to connect to my database. And here's the database that I have. I have just one single table. I'm going to right click. Then script table S insert to new query editor. And this is the command to insert a row into the database. So I'm going to do some tests here. So the first one is name. So I'm going to put um, strawberry, the description, juicy, and finally the color is going to be red. I'm going to run this thing, execute, and one row was affected. I like that. So now I'm going to write a select statement here. And then run this query alone. And then sure enough, I do have a new value on the database. So I'm going to copy this query and then I'm going to paste on my code. Now, if I run this code here, then I have these three values that are hard coded. I don't want this to be hard coded. So because of that, I'm going to create a parameter right here. So this will be a parameterized query. So to create a parameter, I'm going to put the at and then the name, then at description and add again color. So I just created three parameters and next we're going to replace these parameters by a value. So next I'm going to create a command a SQL command and as a parameter I'm passing the query and also the connection. And now I need to add the actual values to the parameterized query. So to add the values I'm going to use the command dot parameters dot add with value and now I need the parameter name and then the object. So the parameter name, the first one is name and then the value. The value is going to come from the fruit model object. So fruit model dot name. Now I'm going to do the same thing. with the description 
and then with color. So for the color, I'm just going to pick the color and then for the description, I'm going to pick the description. Uh oh, I don't have the description. I do not have the description into the, um, the fruit model. So because of that, I'm going to change the fruit model and want to add the description. So to do that, you can either open the fruit model file, or in my case, I do not want to open it completely. So I'm going to right click here on the model. And then I'm going to click on pick definition. And now I can see the definition of the fruit model. And sure enough, I'm missing the description. So I'm going to create the description here. Save. I'm going to close this. And now we do have the description. However, on the index, we're missing the description. So I'm going to create one really quick here. So beautiful. Now the index is actually sending the description from the view to the controller. And now on the controller, we actually have the description. So I'm going to put it here now. And that solves the problem. So the next step is to actually query the database. So I'm just going to insert data on the database and I do not want anything back. So because I do not want anything back, I'm just going to run the commands dot execute non query and that will do it and then close the connection and then I return the view to the page two. Let's take a look again on what we have on the database. So we have two rows, one is banana, the other one is strawberry. So now I'm going to run and I'm going to run the program. So name, I'm going to put uh, orange, color, um, orange, and description, sweet. Click on submit. And then you went to the database. It's not printing the description here on the page two because I don't have it printing, but let's go to the database. And now I'm going to run the database again. And I have orange right here. So now that tells me the data actually went to the database. And I'm going to go to page two and I'm going to fix the model here. And I'm going to include the description as well. There it is. And with that, if we run this again, sweet, submit, go to the page two. Let's look at the database again, execute, and query is right there. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. This is easy and you can do it.